Hey, maple nuts. Check this out. I am not only crazy about maples, I'm also crazy about lawns. And this one is mine. And yes, I do have a, quite a few problem areas like everybody else. You can see right there. Okay, that is disease. All right, some of them are recovering. This area right here, believe it or not, has recovered a lot. Right here is recovering. And right there, when I first put the sod or had the sod installed, that rectangular piece right there was a problem. So I call it the shed sod. And obviously, look at that, guys. There's some dead here, but this area I know for a fact this year is gonna recover. Okay, there's a there's live grass right here. Here, it might take this whole lawn season for this to recover, and it's mainly because this one is soja lawn, and soja is very slow growing. Right there, this will probably continue being my problem piece of sod for maybe up until next lawn season and other than that everything is looking right it's looking cool i'm good i'm pleased with it you know it's just more work for me and i do love work let me tell you when it comes to lawn my maples my palm trees and basically all my plants i love taking care of them there's one area right here where last year I was having massive problems. And this year it has managed to recover, but I have some weeds here. And I have way more. I spray them down and look at the look at it. They're they're pretty much kind of smoked. They're dying. Look at this yellow one right here. That's just dying. Okay. Yeah, you can tell it just pulls very easily because they're, look at that, it's just dying. I smoked the hell out of these weeds. It was, my lawn was completely filled with weeds this year. <coughs> Sorry about that. And mainly, it was because I put this sod on September and I could not throw any pre-emergent. Pre-emergent will do, sorry about that. Oh my God, pre-emergent will do root pruning. Uh, root pruning, sorry. And I couldn't afford it. It was a brand new sod. Root pruning is definitely not an option. So technically when you guys put a sod that first year, you can't put any pre-emergent. You're gonna risk killing it. And it's probably not gonna be good for the overall health of your lawn so anyways i just cut this bad boy just now edge ups are look at that laser precise edge ups all right my land ends right here at this line really this i'm doing it you know and this whole area right here these right here that i have these squares are mainly for my problems area if my lawn actually dies i could just grab some sod from here or from there and i can move it into my front section which i'm not planning on doing yet but if my lawn keeps giving me problems on those areas right there i can always come here grab a piece of sod transfer it to my problem area get rid of it on the spot all right so just want to let you guys know i got oh look check this out i am the maple nuts after all can't make a video without maples check this out tamukiyama in abashitari i am not liking the way this one is growing check this out let's go so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and uh make this one of the leaders cut the rest and we'll go from there. All right, thank you very much, Maple Nuts. I'm out.